What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and I am super excited about this talent up. Why? Well, let me show you a couple things. Uh, first of all, I am at 7.98 million roster talent and this does not include anybody that Scopely owns, right? All of my trial and test characters have been taken off. Uh, if you saw the video, I did get Devon six star silver pull, so I took him up to 30k and was able with him to then number two reason for the big excitement to recruit Rock and Roman and Farouk. I was missing both of those guys. So I have some massive talent up moves to make. And those talent up moves are going to get me over the 8 million mark guaranteed. So this is a celebration video like crazy. Like, ooh, like big crazy. Ah, celebrate. So let me make a few moves I've been wanting to make first. Uh, no, it's Women's Month. Let's start with a the woman's move, the women's move that I want to make which is Rhea Ripley here. Uh, I just got enough tokens on those American flags to take her up, so I'm going to use whatever coin I need to. I, I don't like spending a ton of coin, but I'm going to use whatever coin and whatever TP I can possibly need to use to get her ready to go because she is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited to recruit the new Chase female too. Chase females in a row. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Sonia is the trickster annihilator, so I am very excited to, to get her. Uh, I'm not super happy with the striker females that I have in my roster. Like, Nikki Cross is okay. Um, I enjoy her less than I thought I would over the course of time, but she's fine. Um, but Sonya is going to be great, and this one is a phenomenal. Yep, you can use all of those. So let's start with our first six-star silver move, Rhea the Ripley. And of course, a data conflict. Why Why wouldn't we have a data conflict? Let's go ahead and go straight into that. All right, she's back. Come on. Come on. All right, looks like I'm going to have to reset. So uh going to edit the video right here already. Well, we're back. Uh let me see how far that got us with just the one little six star. Seven <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> out of 12. I want to take some big moves. Usually this isn't too bad because usually this is still only, yeah, that's only 113 out of 700. We're fine. We're fine. I, I would be making these moves even one way or the other. So let's see where's my six star there she is six star silver Rhea uh, I also am super pumped to take up this this guy here this is costing me a lot of coins making these moves already um, but Bradshaw is awesome and again just got enough of the whistles those diamond tokens just hurting me this is the guy where I want to... Yeah, I actually just just want to use off of shards and still have enough to keep going. So, yeah, that's awesome. All right, six star silver number two. Let's not crash again, Portal. Let's not crash again. Let's let's keep this going. I gotta go get my daughter from school after this. So uh, be kind, be kind. Rewind. Six star silver Bradshaw. Now I can really, really start using this guy. Pretty excited about that. I, I finally buckled down and took Goldberg's strap off of him and put it onto Far or, uh, Bradshaw. Not Farouk yet, but wait. Huh, there's more. We're getting there. All right, so Bradshaw was my big move there. Then I have Miss Oblivion that I want to also take up. Another 47 million coin. Lots and lots of TP, 
but she will finally be six stars, so I can actually make her three minute move set. Because while I try to not use the six star move sets wherever possible in the three minute move sets, this is clearly her best. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to get to. I'm excited about it because uh, I actually haven't gotten to use her for much of anything yet. Um, as soon as I could take her six silver, I absolutely will do that. Although, as we all have seen, trickster female, uh, I'm sorry, trickster shards, especially focused shards, oh my goodness, especially, are just so hard to come by. And even more so than that, the stupid guitars. Once again, the uh, guitars right there. I have 37, uh, and I'm going to use 30 of them up right now. So that's also going to be a struggle bus. But so two six silvers, one six bronze. Uh, I'm going to see where we're at from there, but I still want to keep going no matter what. Uh, even, even if I go over on this one, this is one of those talent ups. I just want to get some moves made. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Yes, please. And my next, for my next trick, uh, a tech that I have been wanting to build for a while. I got him late in the game, but have been wanting to build him up, and therefore I am going to do that. Because what's the point of having characters you enjoy using if you're not using them? Because he's only five star silver. About said Gabrons. He's five star Gabrons. Uh, he's five star LeBron James, and I can't use him at that level. Like not competitively, anyway. Like uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. We have been advocates and continue to be advocates for free to play and small rosters. I'm just telling you though. Getting to six star is your goal. If you can't do it with everybody, that's fine. Don't worry about that. But pick a few of your best favorite characters and get them to six star as quickly as you possibly are able to because that's where you start getting competitive. And really, as we get closer to six gold, no advanced knowledge there. Um, I don't know anything you don't know, but six gold's coming. I mean, we do know that. Like, that's not a question mark. That's a if... Or it's not an if, it's a win, that is. So that means that uh, six bronze is going to become kind of the new entry point. Kind of like how when uh, five star gold came out, you really weren't competitive with anything four star anymore. Uh, we're already kind of there. And really, six silvers, if you can get to six silver, obviously, is going to be a big part of the game going forward as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, if I want to use him... I got to get him moving, and that's what I'm doing. Move damage based, so this Sammy in particular doesn't scale as well. I am ho hopeful as they've announced the new gears uh, things, like that, that there's going to be gears in, in uh, events monthly now, that the, his NXT gear will show up because that makes a big impact on him. Uh, but this one right here, I have all the tokens, plus he's shard free. That's a big deal. I can just click evolve and move on like that is awesome i need that so whew, there's one more six star got a sammy that's gonna um i don't have a, a better sammy i don't have zombie sammy i don't have powerhouse sammy so he's gonna hit all my sammy requirements he's bloodline so it hits those requirements Ooh, i could take him six silver theoretically I wonder if I've got a bag that has four of those milk trucks. How badly am I screwing myself over doing that? Coins. Let's see the coins. 150. Ooh, okay. All right. Pause. <laughs> Thank you, David E. Pause. All right. Let's 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 let him, let's let him uh, rest. Let's slow it down for just a little bit here. But I am going gonna, gonna to make that move. All right. Before I get to my new guys, which I'm super excited about... One more big move I want to make here is the new Kevin Owens. Yeah, like my showboat army has William Regal sitting at the top of the pike, but I am missing almost all of the other good showboats that have come out recently, like surprisingly missing all of them. Uh, so even if I had them, I think I would be working Kevin Owens up. He is really, really good, especially if you put the uh, Bulldog's bracers plate 
and the sheriff's badge, which I am willing. I am willing to move from Zombie Cody over to this guy. Uh, that is the sheriff's badge, not the Bulldog's Bracers. The Bulldog's brace, Bracers were on Zombie uh, Lashley. So, so yeah, that's that's that one right there. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so now I really do need to check my bags for two Sockos because I would like to take him six star. So I'll be right back. Okay, one prize wall acquisition on, and uh, later, and we are back. So let's build up this uh, this here KO. This here KO. Um, I am noticing I am blasting through my coins. Like legit, just dropped over half at this point and i want to take i would like to take both rock and roman and farouk up right now uh because i've wanted both of them for theoretically so long i mean like i know rock and roman only came out last month uh if i have to choose one or the other i will choose roman not because i think he's inherently better than farouk honestly i don't know i didn't get to preview farouk i've never actually used farouk because uh, we became content creators after that so i wasn't involved in you know getting to to do anything with him i haven't used him on the candy store account anything like that um but i do i do know he's really good and i know dj anon ZT posted a video about how he is a move damage monster and all that. However, you know, uh, the big idea is that Roman for the rest of this month has plus 99 MP. Plus, I've seen that he's going to be required in something. I don't know what, when, where, how, why, but he's going to be required in something. So I do want to make sure I honor that. And then once again, the Sockos. I, I can't afford, I don't have a way to get 31 more Sockos right now. But as soon as I do, I am going to take him six silver because he's really good. Really good. Um, so KO is going to stay on my sheet, on my talent up plans. Um, yeah, I'm going to go straight into Roman now. This is the one I, I mean, I, I wanted all of those, but I'm going to go ahead and recruit Roman right here and, uh, and get him moving. Cause, cause I really enjoyed using this character. This is by far my best Roman. I don't have a uh, mutant Roman, the, the crocodile, um, you know, Batman villain one. Oh gosh, I'm only at 476 out of 700. So yeah, I'll, I'll be building Roman. <laughs> um, Yep, and he's going to take a lot because he's coming all the way from unleveled, four-star silver. Let's see how far I can take him, but I think I've got tokens, pretty sure I've got tokens to take all the way, all the way up. So, yeah. Have we talked about the fact that this was the first talent up, at least that I can remember, where you didn't level up your free character? Like, Kyrie wouldn't have counted at all um, because... You know, she, well, I mean, not, I shouldn't say at all, but usually during Talent Up, you have the bonus points for taking Kyrie up. And you might still, I honestly didn't look at that. Um, but I mean, I've, I've got her as maxed as I can get her until I get some more of her Evo tokens. So what good is it? Um, you know, I, maybe I could maybe take her up another thousand talent if I got lucky on my Evo tokens. But other than that, yeah, I can't really do much. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where she is. It's the first one we're not doing that. So Roman all the way. Um, let me know about this last month's characters. Did you get any of them other than KO and hopefully possibly Rhea? And if so, which ones did you like or which one did you like best? I ended up getting Shinsuke and took him all the way to the moon because uh, I have that last ride to hell plate. And with that, he hits an easy 20 million turn one. Um, but I know from other content creators and just from my own previews, they said Shinsuke was probably the least powerful out of everybody. Uh, I think it might be Roman that was the least, but but he he definitely has some builds. Uh, and I really want to play with his uh, structure again, because since I did his preview, the next characters that came out really kind of seemed to buff him up. So who knows? I, I don't I didn't get Becky and I did not get Bianca. I missed at this point all of the females because I this this means that I got all of the males from last month. And can I just say I love, 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 love 
that we just in one month solved the big gap in the game that we had, the biggest gap in the game we had, which was Legends era females. And now the only thing we're missing is a Legends era trickster female in one month. Like, whew, that is awesome. And then we shored up uh, Women's History Month this month by starting out with Sonia, who uh, is potentially going to be the best for most people, I will say she's going to be the best striker female you've got. And outside of Roxy, which I also, again, don't have, I'm pretty sure she just straight up is the best striker female. So the women's game just got bumped big time here. So loving that. But anyway, back to my thoughts on, on last month's characters. Um, I think that if I remember my original assessment, I wasn't sure if Roman was going to scale up into six star gold super well but i want to play now i mean we've got there's a lot of there's stuns cross breaks there's all sorts of things that you can do with him um i just i remember liking his his move da- the red move damage uh build and i want to see now what can i actually hit when i get him to six silver can i hit enough that i think he will he will be justified but the reason the thinking as to why i'm questioning that is i he he plays his his whole structure is very similar to devon and i was not fully accurate i said devon was the a tier of all a tiers i actually think he's now the s tier of all a tiers because i got him at i pulled him at six star silver which was awesome go watch that video to see me freak out and lose my mind um but what happened with that once i got him was just realizing like building out the plate building out that uh color turn into multi-gym build he's easily doing 20 million turn one against showboats granted uh but even still even still he's doing tens of millions turn one and it's not even that difficult to get it done like it's it's easy, really. Um, so, yeah, pretty excited about him, which means what if I got Roman a little bit wrong too? What if what if I miss the mark on Roman and his move damage build is not his best build and I really need to reassess all the X break and uh, cross break combos that could be done now? Because, yeah, there's also the fact that uh, Kyrie boosts expert or uh, crossbreak gems for for her counterpart Sonia which also not my favorite build for Sonia either so you know there's all these little tricks and tips that have just changed even within the last month uh the last couple of weeks that man I'm excited about all right I got about a hundred million more to go and my goodness I went from well let's just say high hundreds of millions of coins to now getting dangerously low hundreds of millions of coins like like to the point where if i keep going and they do a uh you know coin and tp event like i don't know where those are going to fall now in this month question mark but if and when they do them i am possibly gonna exclude myself from the ability to do them if i keep taking roman up or or, i mean sorry if i well if i keep spending coins but 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 (laughs) but i at least gotta take him six star um I think the I think the setup and takedown on this is that I am going to just make sure I get all these characters you see this video to six star, and then my goal for the next month of them is to get them all six star silver, because every one of the ones I just did that I didn't already take six silver are ones I want to take six silver, and probably going to have to, in fact, 100% guaranteed at this point because uh, I'm gonna max I'm gonna max the event once I take Roman to six star uh, is that Farouk is is not going to even get touched so if he's not on an event I will not be not be using him at all um, this next two weeks theoretically two weeks until our next talent up so I have two weeks to build all of that coin to where I can use it again yeah yeah. But I got my rock and Roman. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? Uh, I, I have I have gotten the song Rockin' Robin stuck in my head 
pretty much once a week whenever I pulled up the Roman character and thought about this character, uh, I get that song stuck in my head. <laughs> so, rock and Roman. Here we go. Six star bronze from zero to six star hero in one shot. And I'm pretty sure I just maxed the talent up. I'm pretty, pretty sure I just saw it. I don't know. I would be surprised if not. That was a lot of moves. It was uh, That was some roster changing that just happened there. So I know for a fact I'm over 8 million now. The question is how far? Because because I just took him up 24 talent, 24k talent from from nothing, right? Uh, ooh, is he a 26? Oops, sorry, wrong wrong thing to click on. Uh, is he a 26k coach? He is. Ooh, and that's an important one too. So let me. I know I'm a little over. Um, let me just bump his moves a little bit. Oh, that was the increased green MP. I'm not going to use that one. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to use any of those, at least at least from my theoretical builds. So let's see, red gem damage, and then 5 by one into red, I think it was. Let's try these. I mean, I'm, I'm not sitting with a whole lot of TP across the board, but certainly not sitting on a whole lot of red TP or black TP. In fact, black I've had to build from almost nothing. Um, ooh, okay, yeah, kind of not feeling almost any of those and i'm gonna have to ooh, I'm gonna have to drop some more coin all right how much oh i i don't think i can get there no 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 that's that's way too much that's way way too much coin uh what about hollow stars okay yeah i'll, I'll have to go that path because that'll take all right so for right now roman is going to stay where he is let's see what's the over under how far do you think i got do you think i got right on to eight still am i at 8.1 is there any possible way i got to 8.2 because uh the reality is i was i, I basically have been going up a million talent every six to seven weeks at this point so yeah, this is this is moving. Things are moving for me. So let's see where we're at. 8.0. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. 8.0. 8.02, though. I mean, that, that is what it is. I uh, did not touch Farouk, but I did get my other moves there. Let me claim this, and then we'll do a quick roster scroll before we go, because we're, we're still under the half-hour mark, although getting close all right over under in the comments section am i going to get a new moment the answer is 99 percent chance of no because this has not done good for me for a while but i would love that cody moment andre crap crap and crap but i need those man man those uh, I, I thought i was sitting pretty on strap parts and then i took a few straps up for these new characters and realized i am bleh, just not even close not even as much as I thought I had. All right, anything in here other than thank you, thank you, thank you for all the oh, 20, 20 KO shards. I am so far away from KO. And a, one pull on that, great. So far away from KO, it's not even funny. Um, he's one that I missed for sure. Let's see what straps I got. Anything usable? Uh, nope, they're blue at this point. If they're blue, they go bye-bye, no matter what, because I just, I just can't. I just can't. Wait, two and one. So you're saying, I oh, oh, I got a new moment. I didn't even know that I didn't have that one. I don't think I've ever looked at this one. Okay, so uh, I don't have that Andre, but I have everybody else. Faction Feud, though. Odds that I'm going to use Iron Sheik, Big John Stud, even that Brett, definitely not those old Andres. Um, yeah, really, really, really not thinking Bruno San Martino is going to get a big enough upgrade. I mean, the odds that I will ever use anything in this moment are very small. If I get that Andre, maybe, but I'm betting he's way outclassed by now. And Jim Neidhart's okay. He's he's distinctly okay, but that was a new moment. That That is a new moment moment all right sweet so quick roster scroll and then we're out on this one so the top talent i have is shinsuke but technically it's actually becky or shinsuke uh, i really enjoy that shinsuke trickster he is great legendary tricksters are are on point and of course plus 99 
all this month. Becky Lynch, still my favorite female character in the game, although Rhea is close. And I really like, uh, you know, row down and to the right there, that Bianca. So acrobat females are probably my best right now in terms of the female class. Uh, Zombie Dragons lost a little bit of his shine, but still very valuable for a lot about boss battles. And he still gets the job done. And that is without considering I don't have Acro Steamboat up to buff him up yet. And I did just get Roman, who buffs up purple gems quite a bit more. And he creates a ton of purple gems. So still super relevant in the conversation. Uh, Triple H Hall of Fame is amazing, except I'm not using the Piper Plate on him anymore because I do have Regal. But with Piper plate he is phenomenal Nightheart with one gear is still my absolute favorite character in the entire game uh, and as Merrick says it's not even close I like using him in most modes and man showdown with a hall of fame link he does not lose ever Fatu again similar like I, I really stink and love Fatu but my scimitar plate is on Nightheart and there's not really much reason to move that over. JBL, I haven't gotten to use near as much as I'd like to, but showdown this weekend when he was one of the requireds do any do damage with any acolyte. I literally did it in one match, and I only I swiped three times like that. I did I put the sub. I swiped and then I ended up having to swipe again for something else to like move the pin bar or something. And that was it. I was done with the requirement. It was amazing. William Regal, I would love to get these gears for him at some point, even just the first gear, because then I can swap out MP trainers for something else. But even still, easily hitting 60 to 80 million turn one, not even a question mark there. Braun, I still love. He's probably my most used powerhouse still at this point. Uh, I was going to take Undertaker up this time, but again, coin and everything else, not doing that now, but I finally have everything I need to to take him up, so probably next talent up, I'm going to take Undertaker to six silver, and I'm very excited about that move, uh, and then of course I got Devon, and this move set right here with this entourage right here. Uh, this entourage could be improved if you have Sherry, uh, you know, 100% there, uh, and a couple other like I, maybe instead of this right with uh, Gunther, if I had Mosh leveled up, I would put Mosh there. But either way, easily, easily hitting 20 plus million on on showboats. Yeah, he is incredible. I love. I, he's a A tier of A tiers, and I mean that in the best possible way now. The Rock, uh, Nation of Domination, I'm not going to put my Sheik plate on him either because uh, Nightheart's better, very easily better. But but this move set right here is uh, insane. And now that I have Rhea up, she's going to add one more submission turn. So seven turns, and I, I don't have the rest of his. Let's see. Nope, I don't have the rest of his ready to go to show you. But, I mean, it was 18-plus million uh, turn per, per cycle on the sub before I had Rhea leveled up. And now that's going to add one more turn to that. Come on. That is incredible. Incredible. Uh, probably my other favorite trickster is Brutus Beefcake Hall of Fame. He is just dang good. I did not get a gear, didn't get a plate that I can use. I do have his plate, but it's preview only. Um, that Roman is no longer viable, but was good for a, a long time on my roster. Goldberg, um, man, really still, I know, I know we did the video where people tried to show me how to use him. He just is too complicated. Like he's not my style of play and I'm, I'm sad about that. Finally got Hogan up to six star and up to 26 K. So I'm just now finally beginning to use his trainer ability, uh, coaching ability. And I've wanted to take Gunther a six silver for a while, but I just got so many tricksters. And as you saw, as you saw, it's just, he, his priority is dropped quite a lot. Um, here's my new Liv and my new Sammy at six star. Uh, Sammy's not that new. I just knew newly six star. And then you can see I, I took up Woods for the last event to six star. Uh, I took up Chain Gang Cena and all of those guys, you know, that you'll see peppered throughout here that uh, got the boosts. Although I couldn't take up three of them because I didn't have the coin or token abilities to do that. Other than that, uh, there's my KO, there's my Rock and Roman, both sitting in that 24K range. Both will go to 26 this month. 
as soon as possible. Tori, I would love to take up to 26K. I would love to take her six silver because uh, the tokens are, are easy with her, but what's not easy are the shards. Yeah, so I'm hoping that they do an event where you get shards of her in the near future and I can take her up, but she's fine. She's she's a really good addition to the roster. Uh, at some point, I want to take Barrett to 26k for his trainer ability, plus he's been required a few times lately. So there's that. There's my Fiend. Uh, let me scroll down then just kind of towards the the bottom end of my roster just so you can kind of see I've finally been cleaning out the bottom end. There was a stretch where I got a bunch of new characters and just couldn't couldn't afford to take them up. Uh, so I just kind of left them down here. And a few are still there. Warrior, Cody Striker, and Edge Acro. Uh, but then this uh, Dolph Ziggler continually just leaving him at the bottom for as long as I can. Everybody else on the roster, though, the goal is to get them to five star or beyond. And so right now I've got, if you figure kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's 80. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there was one in there. It's fine. Ten-ish. So yeah, I got about a hundred and twenty-ish uh, characters to to take up to five stars at least. So that was a rough estimate, but but pretty much right right on. Pretty pretty close. Pretty close. So uh, yeah, that's my talent up. Oh wait, let me recruit Farouk. I don't want him to sit on the top of my roster for two straight weeks. I am going to go ahead and recruit him. And while that's happening, thanks for uh, checking out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to Champions Chat on YouTube. Follow us every Friday on the main Twitch account for WWE Champions. And share this with your friends and family. You know, let them know how awesome this content is because we really try to be super helpful. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for checking this one out. Bye.